Hello friends, this is Christopher Nino Arca from the City of God Ministry and now you are watching our Bible Review Program. So good evening everyone. So part of the, uh, part of the, I mean, part of the care package that was sent to me by Holman was besides the CSB note-taking Bible is we also have here the, like what I said in my previous video, the 30-day series. From Holman which utilizes the Christian Standard Bible translation now what do we have here we have the Psalms the book of Psalms in 30 days letters of Paul in 30 days and life of Jesus in 30 days every one of this one has been edited by Trevin Wax now to take a look at the box this is a beautifully crafted box and take a look at the details here as you can see the 30 day series bundle includes Psalms in 30 days life of Jesus in 30 days and letters of Paul in 30 days this one is packaged as an elegantly designed box set that makes the perfect gift or bookshelf display for each volume, author and teacher Trevin Wax has crafted a devotional experience, a daily office that guides you in a morning, midday, and evening pattern following the scriptural precedent for praying three times a day. Each volume is a month-long prayer journey that focuses on a scriptural reading from the Psalms, the Gospels, and the letters of Paul. Surrounded by songs from scripture, confessions of faith, and written prayers from faithful Christians who have gone before us. Now, so we have the, the Psalms, the book of Psalms in 30 days. Across the generations, many Christians have made a habit of praying monthly. Now, the format of the Psalm, it is like somewhat the, uh, the book of office. I mean, the, the divine reading, like for us, we have the, uh, the breviary or the liturgy of the hours. This actually has a structured sense in doing the prayers in the Psalms. Now, after reading that, you could pause this video actually if you want to read further, and we will move along to each of the books. First, we will be starting here with the book of Psalms. For anyone more familiar with the, uh, the Book of Common Prayers, for others, and for us who practices the liturgy of the hours there is a sense of a liturgical structure for each of this book now why did i lay it out lay it out with the liturgy of the hours is that you could see the difference in the size and later on we will go deeper into the text of the of this devotional now this actually is a hardback with gold designs psalms in 30 days here at the spine you could see that and at the back uh, open my eyes so that I may con contemplate wondrous things from your instruction Psalms 119 verse 18 now this as you open the book this is in a paste down construction we have the title page Psalms in 30 days compiled and with an introduction by Trevin Wax and this one uses the Christian Standard translation and as you can see this one uh, this uses the 2020 text edition the interior of the Psalms was typeset by TF designs proofread proofreading provided by Peachtree services and this one is printed in China. Now here is the introduction by Trevin Wax. Now the reason that uh, why I'm encouraging everyone who will be uh, who who will try to use this is you have to consider the, reading the introduction because the details on how to read and use the Psalms is this is if you're unfamiliar with on how structured a prayer could be because. Uh, the, the Psalms like the rest of the series it somehow 
it has a pattern that may comprise a liturgical uh, a liturgical rite that can either be used for personal worship for personal devotion or public worship or corporate worship now like here in the psalms it was the the book of psalms was the prayer book of jesus in the old testament it is the old testament book most often quoted in the new the songs found in this book from the bedrock of both corporate worship and individual devotions we have here a part prayers for faithful christians the psalms in 30 days actually if, um i was reading through the entire book and my um the, the one thing that i observed is actually before we go on to the structure of the entire devotional is this book actually uses all the chapters of the book of psalms now i, I think i've i've watched the review of mr tim fritch uh, he was wondering if the entire psalms was used here yes uh, my uh, my answer would be yes holman used the entire book of psalms until chapter 150 of course we know that we don't have the 151 here in this translation now for day um, the way you could use this this book is that you could start off anywhere actually there's no specific day here for when you could start you could like today is wednesday you could start with day one there's no specific day here in the book not unless you use this book like in a manner of where we are in october 2 like now today is october 2 so you start with day two no matter how you choose to start the book you could use this as your prayer guide because why we have the morning prayer we have call to prayer confession of faith we have the canticle and then we have the psalter for the morning psalms we have psalms 1 2 and 5 and then we have the Gloria the Lord's Prayer we have the intercession and personal requests prayer of the church and the final blessing now again like what I said earlier you could use this as a personal devotion or as a group now we have the midday if you're starting with the mid if you're starting with the midday we have the call to prayer midday psalm 6 we have psalm 7 now the psalter is usually either by two or by three now in the morning you could see that it it has three psalters in the midday there are only two for the midday like six and seven and then we have the gloria the lord's prayer and the final blessing for the evening we have call to prayer call to prayer um we have call to prayer confession of sin and then we have the canticle and then the evening psalms psalms 3 4 and 8 the thing is you you'd notice that this is arranged differently but you can you can definitely see that the whole book of psalms is being used in this book all the chapters i mean are used in this book now this is the pattern for every day of this book now the way i see it the way i see it this is a perfect opportunity for you to have a a, a prayer discipline in life how structured you can be in your prayer life how concise you can be i mean this has all the psalms and besides the other book that i will also show you 
This is a perfect opportunity to practice your prayer life in order for you to develop your own personality in praying. Now, we're moving to day 30. See, you could see we have the morning prayer. And then down to the intercession and requests and also the last part are the sources and this is a, a perfect way of praying actually because back in the days uh, um, during the time of Jesus the Psalms the book of Psalms are used for prayer for the for the Jewish community now let's move to the other books now we have the letters of Paul Again, this is a paperback, uh, I mean a hardback, and paste down, we have the letters of Paul in 30 days. And here we have the introduction. May I suggest reading the introduction since we are all new to this, to this prayer structure. We have the uh, journeying with Paul. We have the prayers of faithful Christians, the, the letters of Paul in 30 days. Again, this is programmed, the entire letters of Paul, programmed to be uh, meditated and prayed on for 30 days. Suggestions for praying through the letters of Paul. These are patterns and suggestions on how to use this book. And then we have the introduction to the Christian Standard Bible. Now let us move to the content itself, the letters of Paul. Now take a look at this. Day 1, Call to Prayer, Confessions of Faith. We have the Canticle. We have the Morning Reading from Galatians. We have the Gloria, the Lord's Prayer. Now it's definitely like the Liturgy of the Hours for us and for others the book of common prayers because it utilizes the different parts of the Bible in your prayer life now don't be afraid of getting used to a certain structure in praying in worship because repetition develops uh, a sense of discipline on how you should pray it does not mean that you should pray someone else's words but the words here would develop your own words when you pray and personally my own opinion you should be able to have a certain um, tradition to develop in your praying because in that sense you could you could pray you could pray as a community you could pray as a community as a family I could actually you could use this devotionals with your family whether you pray in the morning or in the evening I know people nowadays are very busy in their schedules now having a devotion it would actually instill values as a family. It would help develop your family as well. I mean, reading the Bible and also praying as a family. Now we have the evening prayer. Call to prayer. Confessions of faith. We have the canticle. Now our reading is here is in Galatians chapter 3. We have the Gloria, the Lord's Prayer. And up to the last part, you could see the sources. Now, I'm not sure if all the letters of Paul are utilized here, but I do believe that the, the, because the letters of Paul are actually exhortations on how we could exercise our spirituality. And, it, and this devotional book will, will really help. And lastly, we have the life of Jesus in 30 days. Again, here's the title page, compiled and with an introduction by Trevin Wax, Christian Standard Bible. And here in the introduction, you could see that Jesus is the central figure of the New Testament and his life, death, and resurrection and exaltation is the heart of the gospel. 
His story is foretold by the Old Testament prophets, anticipated in the Psalms, and then explained by the apostles who witnessed his work. Now, we also have the journeying with Jesus. We have the prayers of faithful Christians, the life of Jesus in 30 days. Now, again, this is a compressed version of the devotional consecrate, concentrated on the life and works of Jesus. Suggestions for praying. Again, certain structures are being conveyed on how to do this devotional. So we start with day one, morning prayer. We have the call to prayer, confession of faith, the canticle. We have the morning readings. Here it started with the, with the gospel according to John, John chapter 1. And then we have here, I think here in the morning readings, the editor used two gospel accounts. One in John and one in Luke. And after reading, there is this. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Next part, we have the Gloria, the Lord's Prayer, the Intercession, Personal Requests, Prayer of the Church, and the Final Blessing. Again, it goes out, the pattern here, for the morning, the midday, and also in the evening. In the evening, we have the call to prayer, the confessions, confession of faith, the canticle, and the evening, and the evening reading. Here, the evening reading is Luke 8. And it ends, this is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. And after that, we have the Gloria, the Lord's Prayer, the Intercession and Personal Requests, Prayer of the Church, and the Final Blessing. Now it goes the same, the structure, the repetition. Don't be afraid in trying out structured prayer life. My suggestion, because all of this actually do form as a certain sense of a, a liturgy, both for personal and for corporate. Now, you could either, uh, 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 let me just finish this book first, because this is up to day 30. And then after that one, we have, like here, in the evening, evening readings, we have the look, and sometimes they utilize two readings, sometimes they utilize one reading. And then we have the sources. Now, my suggestion is you could either use all of this in a single month. Or you could use this for one month, the next, and the next. These three books actually do form a sense of a prayer discipline, which I encourage everyone to have. Because not every Christian actually knows how to pray in a formal way. We do need to have a sense of formality. We do need to have a sense of discipline in our prayer because sometimes we forget to pray. We have to admit that, that as Christians, sometimes we forget to pray. Now with this, this devotionals, this will guide us. This would help us develop the pattern of prayer. Now, I encourage everyone to actually do make a purchase of this in order for you to instill within yourself either for personal reasons or with a family this is a very what um, yeah this is very useful for every Christian I will be posting the link where you could purchase this this devotionals now keep safe everyone God bless and take care.